So we are back yet again, ugh, doing the impossible challenge. Turns out it's actually really hard. Who would have thought? Um, so we are forced level one. We have, uh, we die in one hit. It, uh, enemy randomizer on, so their stats and attributes and stuff are all randomized. Um, what else? Uh, it's, uh, uh, Yeah, force level one, force is uh, one HP, uh, bounty hunter, randomizer, which means we have to kill enemies in order to progress. So the actual like enemy stats matter. Um, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, all of the good weapons are basically banned. Any of the good swords are banned. Um, and Fist of Tulkas is banned because it's OP and Shield Rod is banned because it's also OP. Exclamation mark challenge if you're watching live, if you want to see the actual rules. They're also pinned in the top of the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, however, first of all, hope you're doing well. You look handsome today. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, or watch live if you want to watch me finish this challenge in the chat and like, you know, spam emotes while I, while I finish the, the challenge and stuff. That'd be cool. I watch my own clips, the clips I make because they are hilarious and they are artificially inflated. Keep artificially inflating your, your clips, please. Whatever you do. Uh, clip inflation rule 34, Google that, please. Um, okay. So yeah, we start with a library card, which is nice. Uh, if you don't know, I'm gonna die. Uh, all of those symbols at the bottom basically tell me the stats of the enemy. So for example, they have lowered attack because the arrow down next to the sword uh, and they do W damage, is that water? Yeah, it does water type damage, which is a uh, fun fact. It is a damage type that exists in the game, but no enemies technically can do water damage. Um, they have their defense down and they are weak to holy. They resist nothing and they are immune to cut. So the slash there is, is cut damage. Uh, thankfully, we can't do cut damage right now anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Am I dead, chat? I, I'm really scared to unpause because I think I'm dead. Oh, not even close, actually. So that's kind of the primer for what we're dealing with. Um, all of those stats and attributes matter because if we ever find an enemy that's immune to uh, hit type damage, which is the type of damage my fists do, uh, we can be in big trouble. We have ways around it. Okay, because as soon as a, as a zombie becomes immune to hit, we're in big trouble. Oh, wow, Alucard Sword. That's such a cool drop, except I can't use it. Uh, Alucard Sword is one of the banned swords because all good swords are banned, essentially. The only swords that aren't banned are the ones that have, like, bad hitboxes or, like, are two-handed swords that are bad, so. Nah, I'm fine with the weapons showing up, I guess, and me not getting them, because otherwise those would just be, like, what, empty hands or whatever? It might make the challenge easier if it if they're replaced with actual items that are allowed. You know what I mean? <clears throat> damage from being su submerged is not water damage. I don't believe it is. I could be wrong. Maybe it is. I'm pretty sure if I have the holy symbol on, however, I won't be like immune to water damage, so. Namakura is allowed. That's a one of the worst weapons in the game. But hey, it's a weapon. We'll, we'll take it. And Iron Shield. The only issue is I can't use both at the same time. Uh, Namakura does less damage than my fists. We're not using that shit. Oh, brother. Jewel of Open Start. <sighs> I think I'm going to use my library card now, actually. Here's the idea. I can use my library card now. I could always check Spirit Orb later. It's not that big of a deal to check it right away. There are more checks here anyways. Is the shop never in Logic? In Bounty Hunter? No, it is. Use Bounty Hunter tool? Son of a... Chat, I forgot to use the Bounty Hunter tool. I knew I was forgetting something. 
We can technically salvage this if I get to a save room, so it's fine. I'm not supposed to save, but for my own stupidity, we can save. Mace. That's actually a really decent weapon for this challenge. I'll take it. It does hit type damage. So it's basically just a better version of my fists with range. But yeah, for now, um, I should actually turn Ghost Card on. We've realized that familiars are actually really useful for this challenge. I don't like how tanky all of these uh, enemies are and that they're not dying in one hit, but you know, it's fine. Gold ring. I kind of need that, but I could wait for later. But it's fine. Ooh, Buffalo Star. Nice. Ghost ain't doing shit. He has to level up first, okay? He, on, on the bright side, is not restricted to our same level restrictions. So he's allowed to level up, but we are not. Lightning Mail does nothing for us. If it made us immune to lightning, that would actually be useful, but... That is not the case. These guys even have lower defense, and it's still, like, three hits to kill them. That's not a good sign. I also almost died there. All it takes is one mistake, and you're dead. I also, I just need to make this smaller. Because my face keeps, like, bumping up into it. And I'll move it up there. So that way I'm not, like, blocking my own face. Dude! Morton Blade would be so good! Oh! It's such a good weapon. Oh well. Pentagram, however, we are allowed to use. Gravity boots yet again. Pretty common start, I feel like. Okay. Needed to be careful there because if those uh, Medusa heads are like immune to hit type damage, we could be in trouble. So it was better that we tested from like a safe distance. So we definitely grab the gravity boots. Now we can go back to entrance and it's like, we can do a lot of stuff. That early library card was actually pretty nice. Another thing, by the way, for those that are wondering why I'm not, like, trying to buy stuff in the shop, uh, the shop has nothing. There are no items in the game that drop except from, uh, dropped by enemies. So the only way we're gonna actually progress is by killing enemies. We can't just, like, stumble upon a broken weapon or whatever, uh, randomly or buy it in the shop. We have to find it from an enemy drop. This is, like, unironically one of the scarier rooms in the game because of that skeleton. Jump over those spikes. Nice. I can buy empty hands? True, I could. Thank God, Force of Echo, the greatest relic in the game. Uh, I need to save the game, actually, so I can reload with the Bounty Hunter tool. So, so I'll do that in a second. You steal men's souls. Kay and Shin, thank you very much for the four months in the Prime sub alongside it. We're almost, we're 25 subs away from the return of Milk Bob. If you guys don't, Milk Bob, I can't begin to describe it. It is an experience that you will experience once we hit the sub goal. And it'll be worth it. That's all I can say. If you know, you know.
milk bob back like he never left okay we have to save the game um which is fine i'm technically cheating in my challenge i apologize let me reload the game with the correct tool setup okay so we should have the tool working now and we should know who our target is now so if i go to uh relics okay stone rose we can do that in fact we can do that now if we wanted to the ring of vlad doesn't necessarily bon uh, give us any bonus stats that we care about but it is nice to get it out of the way in fact stone rose they only exist in that one room oh i haven't fought these guys yet fuck um hopefully i'm allowed to kill them with tetra spirit otherwise we might be in trouble okay it seems like they aren't immune to hit damage which is good for us okay yeah, when in doubt, uh, the day that Slagra or Gaibon is immune to hit damage is the day that we have big problems. Because Tetra Spirit, thank God, is, like, powerful enough to take care of them. What is S-type damage again? What is S-type damage? Stone, stone, that makes sense. Being immune to stone, huh? Couldn't be me. Stone is super effective versus me, man. I can't... That shit makes me feel extra goofy. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, you ever smoke weed? You ever do drugs? Press 1 in chat if you do drugs. One, 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 one. Officer, get him. That's right. This stream was actually a ploy. You think I'm a real streamer? No, I'm actually a federal agent, and I have been these last 10 years. This was all a ploy to get you to admit, you specifically, to doing drugs on the internet. You are now going to forever jail. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. I'd never be a cop. I'm not uh, based and epic enough, I, I guess, or whatever the kids say. I don't have the, the Riz from Ohio. Forever Jail is crazy, man. You never been to Forever Mega Turbo Jail? Oh, uh, that's invincibility. I kind of want that. Any form of invincibility can be very useful. Oh, we're banning Duplicator, by the way, right? Yeah, we're banning Duplicator. I didn't say it before. Vanilla Spirit Orb! Ooh. But we're definitely banning Duplicator. I'll add that to the ban list in a second. Yeah, no Tooth of Vlad drop for the third time in a row. Can't believe it. I forgot to randomize the seed. My bad, my bad. Okay, sir. We should. Wait, I never grabbed fairy card. Shit. This this challenge is so stressful. I keep forgetting to do checks. We could have done fairy card before. We had gravity boots. Oh, we got to be fast for these guys. Thankfully, we can actually kill them. These guys might actually kill many runs, depending on if they're immune to stuff or not. I didn't have gravity boots. Oh, you're right. I didn't. I thought I started with gravity boots. Sorry. The, the seeds are starting to bleed together because we've done so many. So many. Five. I don't know, man. Echo is not like that great. It could be useful for getting through Spike Breaker without dying or whatever, but it's, like, very risky to grab. I could always grab it later if I ever am in, like, a pinch. So we're going to leave that relic for now. So, yeah, it's looking like we are either supposed to go to the caverns or we were supposed to grab Fairy Card. Go fast! Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
It's fine. Not even scared for a second. Yeah, we'll go outer wall. We'll check fairy card. N didn't even flinch. I think that's probably the best way to deal with those guys. That or just spam Hellfire, which, you know, if you mess up the input, could be scary. As <laughs> Opposite to the wolf thing, this is not my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault, OG. My fault. My B. Yo, my B. I, why did I assume I killed them in two hits? Why would I assume? I'm just like, oh yeah, I killed these guys in two hits, right? It was three, man. Get wrecked, nerd. Yeah, yeah. Boot up the next seed. That seed was uh, bad anyways, because I said so. All right, let's try again. Oh, this is attempt number six. Not attempt number five. I'm literally lying. Google at work, it'll be safe. True, 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 true. When in doubt, Google with safe search off uh, on your office uh, computer. Whatever you're confused about, plus rule 34. Because that's how you get past the AI uh, bad results, is the <clears throat> rules of uh, AI is that there needs to be an opt-out option, and Google hid their opt-out option under their like rules of uh, search terms. So you have to turn safe search off and you have to search whatever you're looking for with rule 34 afterwards. And then you won't get the, the wrong automated AI bullshit. It's true. Yeah, Richter only gets one HP. If I take any damage as Richter, it, uh, I instantly die. Or I guess Maria technically shows up on screen and that counts as a death. And we would have to reset. If I reset in the prologue, that'd be very sad. This is the wrong seed. Huh? This is the same seed as last time. How did this happen? Hold on. All right, this is the real attempt number six, because this should be, yep, a different uh, seed. Plentiful Year 680, the name of this seed. How's everything going? I'm chilling. Trying out this impossible challenge that we've been failing, but I think it's a good challenge. I think it's good. I think it's going to really ramp up when we start to get into the later parts of the run. Like, second castle is going to be stressful as hell. Or if we get a preset or a seed that forces us into the second castle early, and then we have to come back, that's going to be stressful. Oh, God. There we go. And this is a technical game. It's very easy to throw by just inputting something wrong, so. I'll try my best, but. The fact that we didn't one-shot this challenge goes to show that it actually is a pretty decent level of challenge. Which is nice. First things first. Ooh, sure, can start. Could be useful. Okay, they aren't immune to anything. That's nice. Yeah, if you're ever confused about what their their names are essentially just trying to detail how their stats have been randomized, the thing I'm most often looking at is the very end, the little potion symbol, and then whatever's after that, it det determines if they're immune or uh, healed by something. Uh, you is curse damage, so these guys are immune to curse damage. Thankfully, we're not doing curse damage, so it's fine. The only other thing that's kind of useful is whether they resist certain elements, which is next to the shield. Okay, no drops from them. I could be using Summon Spirit more often as well, to be safe. Booba card does curse damage to me. Fair enough. But Milk Bob is chill, right? Everybody's down for some Milk Bob. 
Speaking of, we are pretty close to that. Sub goal incentive. Hopefully we hit it soon. That'd be nice. Lightning mail. Anti-Venom was kind of hoping for a weapon, but it's fine. Missed start yet again. Okay. We did have a missed start earlier in the challenge. It was like attempt number two or three. Something like that. Missed start isn't bad because we do have access to library cards, so we can go check that whenever. So. There we go. That's one gifted. 24 away. We're getting closer. Thank you, McNair. What are you doing down here? Skelly bro, get out of my face. Okay. He's immune to lightning. That's fine. I should be more careful versus those fuckers. Because their sword can kill. In fact, in one hit. Fun fact. They do enough damage to kill me in one hit. Any amount of damage. The specialist type of damage. We actually... You know what also is going to be a problem for this challenge? Uh, the caverns? If I even touch water for, like, 0.2 seconds, I instantly die. So, like... What if we have to fight, uh, Scylla? Uh-oh. I didn't think that through. It'll probably be doable, right? Frogs, yeah. Simply gets holy symbol forehead. You know... That would help. It would help. All right, is this finally the run where we lose to Sauger and Gaibon because they're immune to spells? I think you can, if you shield dash fast enough and move fast enough, get through to the Scylla boss fight without getting hit by water, but it's really tough. Nice and easy. Oh, those guys were defense down? Weak to hit type damage? Losers. Uh, imagine being weak to hit type damage. Couldn't be me. I mean, I'm weak to all damage, but you know. That's neither here nor there. Uh, Up defense. I don't like that. I do not like that. Getting through these guys is going to be fucking annoying. What if I Hellfire? Probably not worth it. I personally have a weakness to fire. Okay. I think we're committed to top route here. I think top route is generally safer. There we go. Nice triple hit. Okay. Bottom route with the two Axe Knights gets very sketchy. It might be a little risky, but it's faster. And honestly, like, I don't know. Maybe I should test these guys out with like a quick spell. They have high defense, but they resist, um, what is that? Lightning? Okay. Oh, what is he doing over here? 
Why why does he jump? Thank you for dying. How's the doll? Also uh healed by lightning. Power of mist, we want that. Okay, we can get our redemption arc from that last seed that gave us mist and power of mist. This is actually really important. Necklace of J does literally nothing. Extra defense is nothing to us. Heart refresh, unironically, might be useful. Okay. Okay, we are kind of cooking. We full cleared this area. We can kind of just speed run through now. Um, we can check gravity boots because we have flight. This is in logic flight as well. Um, good seed, good seed. Immune to fire, okay, or healed by fire. I think the green potion means they're healed by it, and the red ring means they're immune. Something like that. Okay. So we don't have enough MP to make it all the way up, I'm pretty sure, so we have to stop and refill. Now here's a question. If I missed spam, is that better MP? Value or not? Like, if I do this... Oh, you go... Oh, you can fly for free. That's actually really good tech. Because otherwise, flying in mist form would be really annoying. Because you'd constantly be losing mana. That's actually really smart tech. Oh! Just get the holy symbol! It's that easy! Okay, we're not going to die to water damage. Let's fucking go. And we do not have Jewel of Open, however. And we have to backtrack through... Ugh, we have to backtrack through fucking... Alchemy Lab at some point. We have a lot of options. Honestly, too many options, and I'm scared. I'm also scared of these boomerang guys, so let's try and... Okay, they don't resist anything. That's huge for us. We're safe if we stand in the corner. They do have high defense, so I think I have to kill them with spells. Summon spirit, please. <sighs> Summon spirit AI be fucking scary, man. Go fast and you'll never get hit. Smiley face. I could risk or be a little less risky there by just using Mist and Power of Mist, but I'm kind of scared of that guy flying around, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I like to see a lot of enemies that don't resist anything or d aren't immune to anything. Resistances or whatever. I mean, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. I forgot you get Vardas in this preset for free. That's huge. Okay. That helps a lot, for sure. I mean, that helps a lot. Now, the real question is, do we ban Varda then? If we're guaranteed to find them, honestly, I think we have to ban them. Because that's too... Like, the damage is insane there. Going to from 15 to 55 is too strong. So I think I'm going to add that to the ban list. I didn't realize that Vardas were given to you for free. If I found one randomly, it'd be different. But... I, I have to ban it. That's too powerful. Yeah, 30 int is insane. Like, I'm using spells so often. 
I think I need to ban it because I think I would literally finish the challenge immediately here by just spamming spells. Restrict it to one. Speaking of spamming spells, my Hellfire didn't work. Nice. No, I think I need to just ban it. Because otherwise, I would just spam spells. Like, just literally spam Summon Spirit over and over again until it killed everything, so. Oh, I could have used Mist Power of Mist. That would have been smarter and more MP efficient. Okay. That was a throw, but to be fair, I was kind of distracted thinking about the rules for this challenge. My bad. My bad. All right, let's boot up one more. I think I have time for one more. Let's boot up one more. All righty. Let's try one more attempt. I really got to focus up, man. This challenge is scary. All it takes is one tiny mistake, like not doing the Hellfire input properly. To be fair, I could have just used Mist and Power of Mist to get past that guy and not died there, but whatever. Lesson learned, lesson learned. Like, if I have Mist and Power of Mist, I should take better advantage of that to make this challenge doable. All in on yes. Right now we do have a prediction up as to whether or not you think I will get two or more Vlad relics before I die. Gamble your life savings, go crazy, go wild, do what you gotta do. This is a tough challenge. We've gotten two Vlad relics once out of the seven attempts we've tried so far, so it doesn't seem like super likely, but I should technically be getting better at these challenges or this uh, challenge over time. Like, I should start to make less and less mistakes. That's kind of the whole point, you know? But we'll see. It's not, hey, it's not my channel points, you know? All right, let's take a look. What do you got for me? No immunities. Seems to be weak to hit. Which is actually really nice for us. And lower defense. Immune to curse yet again. Let's check the bats. Uh, immune to curse. Everybody's immune to curse nowadays. Poor curse. Sell all of your curse stonks. Stonks going not to moon. Going to earth? What's the opposite of a stonk going to the moon? For those who are uh, still holding on to the, the, the dream. They are cursed. Oh. The dream of just doing some digital shenanigans and all of a sudden your bank account is 10 quadrillion dollars. That surely is like a good healthy system to have for an economy, I'm pretty sure, actually. Namakura is technically a usable sword. Uh, oh my god, missed start, okay. Let's just not throw, smiley face. It has no name because everything goes to the moon. We must invest now, true. Stonks only go up, it's so true. Everybody knows that. And actually, investing isn't gambling because it's investing. It's a different word, guys. Nobody has ever lost money on an investment. Unless they did it wrong, clearly. Stonk is a military term? Okay. 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 Explosive? Uh-oh. I'm gonna get banned off Twitch for talking about explosives. It's a mortar. Mm, mortar. M mortar. I, I turned myself into a, a stonk mortar. Is that is that funny to anybody? Mortar kind of sounds like Morty. That's the best I got. Look, I'm losing my mind. This challenge got me fucked up. I'm over here casting spells and shit. Trying not to die. 
Summon Spirit is also stupid as all hell going after the- Why are you going after the axe, bro, and not the guy throwing the axe? I chuckled, but I'm real stupid. <laughs> uh, $400? Missed. Wap wap. Oh, I missed. What the heart doing? Stuck in the wall. Whoa. Alrighty. Log run. Grab. Bon. Please don't be immune to my spell. They are not. And they are weak to it again? Nice. I'll take it. If one touch of spirit is all it takes to kill those fucking idiots, I'm a happy guy. Step heart, what are you doing? You're stuck. What? <laughs> Leave me alone. That's fucking scary, dog. Will I use a Tetra Spirit to nuke this guy? Yes. Because he fucking terrifies me. Oh! When in doubt, just punch him in the ankles. Oh? Bad. Okay, we're actually kind of cooking. They walk with such purpose once they see you. It's actually once you turn around. If you stare at them, they like just move back and forth normally. As soon as you turn around, they like beeline it to you. It's actually kind of funny. Punch him in the dick. Give him the old dick punch, Alucard. Can we get a scene in uh, Castlevania Nocturne Season 2 where Alucard just punches a guy in the dick and then it explodes? Who's in charge of the animation for that? Can we send this clip to them, please? For no particular reason, I just want that. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Die. I hit them with death summon. Die. Was that a crit or did I... I don't know. I don't know. Gravity boots? Okay. Okay. It's not mist and power of mist, but it's pretty good. I'm scared of that doll. What the doll doing? Dolls have necklace of J again? True. Are we going to see Alucard fisting Aurochs? Well, I wouldn't phrase it like that, but perhaps. Hey, we might see that during this challenge. If I don't find a fucking weapon, by the way. Like, I don't want to use Summon Spirit versus all these fuckers, but like... You know? What else am I supposed to do? Alright, we can do this. It's an out-of-logic check, but it's still useful. Ooh! 
wait, that means Power of Mist is probably our form of flight again. Is Power of Mist just more likely to show up as flight if you find Mist early? Interesting. Because finding Leapstone locked behind flight is, uh... Interesting. What do we got here? They do die. Hunter Sword, finally, a fucking weapon. They have increased defense and they are resisting slash damage. Okay. So we are better off just using the spells versus these guys, but having a working sword is good. In fact, I'll put it on now. Damn, 27 damage? Huge buff. We should ban this sword. It's too good. Yeah, Tetra Spirit versus that guy, I think, is also fine. Let's take a look in a book, reading Rainbow, etc., etc. Uh, what's going on in the Coliseum? Masamune! Oh, Masamune! How I wish I could use you. Oh god. Yeah, Masamune is way too good, so it's obviously banned. Alright, we have to get past Sword uh, and Hammer Bro real quick. I can get past this guy as well would be nice. Let's not fuck up the Hellfire this time, please. Okay. Jumping over that guy is relatively consistent, uh, but, you know, it does look a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not going to do all rocks yet. I think I'd rather warp back to Castle Entrance and do the checks that we forgot. Outer Wall is likely where we're supposed to go, if I had to guess. But, you know. Okay, two, two hits to kill these guys is fine. Nice and easy. We do have to deal with freaking MLG skeleton again, but, you know. Or we can just murder him. Easy. Not bad. Do I think it's worth playing the Saturn version? I mean, if you want to, yeah. I'd recommend playing the... Uh, is it Saturn Ultimate Edition is the name of the... hack? There's, like, a patch that lets you play the game in English, and it also, like, makes the game, like, more playable, speeds up some, like, slow animations and stuff like that. So if you want to experience the Saturn version, probably play that version. The the Saturn Ultimate Edition, I think if you Google that, it will probably pop up. Those areas are not particularly well fleshed out or anything like that. They're neat. I think they're worth experiencing if you're a big fan of the game. But it's not that big of a deal. Yo, what up, Panda? Hope you're doing well. Wing smashes go crazy even with limited MP. They go crazy until you fail a wing smash or you run out of MP in a very critical moment and then land on top of an enemy and then fucking explode. Spirit orb? Sure, why not? For the culture. We can see how much damage we're actually doing. Don't those guys have like 28 health? That's so fucked up that I'm only doing 27 damage. Because enemy health points are the same. It's just their defense value changes, you know? Yeah, the Guardian Boots color is pretty good. These guys are weak to slash. Interesting.
Uh, I should probably just actually just warp to library. Yeah. I wasted a little bit of time there, but it's fine. What do you got? I'm interested in this. Force of Echo! Pog Champ! Farewell for now. Ooh, I should have bought an empty hand, actually, now that I think about it, but we can come back for that later. All right, let's see what you got here. High defense, don't... Don't do that. That's actually fucking scary. Oh, you heal off of cut damage? Really? That's annoying. Dude. That's annoying. What, what a plant. Jewel of Open. Uh, dude, Silver Ring is in logic right now. What the hell? Um, I honestly think we can skip for now. I don't think there's a reason to go do... What's it called? Son of a fucking ass shit. I don't think there's a reason to go check Solo Bat yet. It's not, like, particularly in logic in a way that, like, worries me. It seems like the next thing in logic is either Silver Ring or, like, the Caverns or something. I don't think checking Soul of Bad is, like, worth it. Also, that's an empty relic check, so we're just gonna skip. Because I don't want to deal with those books. Okay. I should be safe to just backdash through. Especially if I can one-shot these guys. Okay. Jewel Sword, is that any better? It's technically better damage. And the question is, does this still turn people into jewels in Bounty Hunter? Actually, if it turns them into jewels, it's suboptimal because I actually need the item drops to not be jewels. I need them to be like weapons and shit. That's actually kind of funny. I'm pretty sure it would overwrite the weapons to become jewels. which is uh, not good for us. You can get five coins. That's not like... So if you look at my gold, I have 952. Oh, 953. It does count as extra money. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was fake money. I always thought it was fake money. It's real money. Wow. Today I learned. I feel like I knew that at one point and then gaslit myself into thinking that it was not real. Real, fake money. Uh-oh. We just gotta survive. You know what, I'm just gonna, maybe skipping that guy was a mistake. I have an idea. Let's just reset the room. So that way this guy is out of the way. Eye card. Skull. We can do that right now. We can go do that right now. And there's a relic check over there. Okay. I'm going to grab this warp first, and then we're going to go grab the... No, wait. Skull is... Uh, Yorick Skull? Right? Different guy. Never mind. We can't do that yet. So then what's the tiny skull called? Like the one in uh, Outer Wall, or sorry, uh, Clock Tower here. Because one is called Skull Lord. Floating Skull, or Phantom Skull. I think it's Floating Skull. It is Phantom Skull? Floating Skull sounds better to me. But maybe I'm just misremembering. Whatever. This game's silly. It's finally happened. Soul of Bat, let's fucking go. Okay, it does not necessarily mean that we're scot-free by any means.
but it's kind of nice. As long as we don't get sculled on. This area is still incredibly scary, and maybe I shouldn't go this way. But I kind of am, like, YOLO. What's the worst that'll happen? I die to a fucking randomly spawning. Medusa head. Wait, I have Spike Breaker on, right? If I don't, I should. Okay, I do. I almost threw, dude. Although, if I fall in the water, I also die. Yeah, this area is um fucking terrifying. Don't hit me! Ah! Yeah, sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it, we ball. One-shotting these guys is really nice. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay. Yeah, there's no items, there's no items. Remember, there's no items. Nice and easy. No reason to throw here. Dude, I just realized the fucking flea riders. What am I supposed to do about the flea riders, man? I am concerned. Not get hit? Oh, yeah. Duh. Why didn't I think of that? Another library card, which isn't bad, but like... I don't know. Soul Steel? Uh, I only have 30 MP. I cannot Soul Steel. Soul Steel is not possible. They are immune to nothing. They are strong versus hit, though. They're weak to P, which is poison. Okay, so I should be able to kill them in a single sword slash. So let's take it nice and slow. I hear your wings flapping, bro. I hear them flapping. Another library card. Fuck. I need that. Fuck. Shit. Where is he? There's one that spawns right here. There we go. Okay, I think that's all the ones I need to worry about. <sighs> yep. I would like to be able to hear their wings flapping, but in the fucking background, all I hear is and it's not helping. Because that's my only defense against them, is if I can hear their wings flapping before they show up on screen. Okay. Um, all rocks time? Dude, fighting all rocks right now sounds fucking miserable. I kind of want a better weapon before I fight all rocks. Maybe I just skip all rocks for now, but I still go this direction for sword card. And silver ring.
These guys have more health than I thought they did. Yes, Jewel Sword is technically my best weapon, but I don't want to use it versus random enemies because the random item drops is the only way I'm going to get better weapons. So I kind of need to not have them drop jewels, instead have them drop weapons. Why did I... Ah! Okay. Ah, oh, dude. That's the second time I've done that exact same thing. Oh, my brain doesn't have ever, the, the bandwidth to remember how many hits... Oh, and I'm so used to one-shotting these fucking idiots. Uh, we'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Or not. I don't know. Fucking dumbass. Stupid ass. Attempt number eight will happen next time. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Join the live stream so you can watch me fail or possibly succeed live. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, YouTube. Have a good one. Bye-bye.